Hi everyone, good morning. We are here, I am here, with uh, my good friend John from Team Set Pass. How are you doing, John? I am good, up nice and early, and hopefully we'll be done in time to get to our other events today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to ask him. I had to ask uh, Dragon Rider, I was like, I bet they schedule a regional on the same day, um, which was just crazy. Um, but here we are, uh, bright and early here for the top eight of the Cash Cup. Now we've got, um, do you know how much money, how much cash is on the line for, for today? Um, I believe it was 40 players, so 400, because it was $10 each with 100% payout. Oh, so four hundred dollars. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, I think yeah, we're just probably gonna get the timer sorted out here, and it's gonna be an interesting match. We got a red gamer in blue. Unfortunately, he's not on the red side, and Matrix on <laughs> on red. Um, and it's gonna be an interesting one. Um, I don't know what decks they're on, by the way. So this is gonna be a surprise to me as well. This is table one, um, top eight. So we've just got top eight, top four, and the finals today. Um, did you get to watch any of the matches yesterday? Were you, were you... Um, I peeked in on one, and it was absolutely Red Gamer, but I don't remember what he was playing. <laughs> I know he was going against ABC at the time. Okay. Um, I knew the ABC player. That's why I wanted to see how he was doing for the day. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. I think I remember what he's on, but I'm not going to spoil anything until we start. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. 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 So it should be an interesting one. Um, I can see the chat, but I think if everything looks good, I guess the chat will let us know if it's not looking good. Um, but I guess we're just waiting on the okay to start here. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. No, I think it looks, I think it looks good. So, um, we will just wait for the players to start. I think the players are waiting for the timer. You guys can see the timer, uh, right under the top eight sign. Um, okay. I'm probably just waiting till that 40 minute mark. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Waiting for the 40 I minutes. Don't, yeah. We're gonna have to tell Luke that uh, they changed it. Now it's 45 minutes, so. Mm, yeah, how, so how is waking up early? I, I am not a fan of waking up early. Um, I mean, I'm two hours ahead of you, so for me, it's <laughs> like I slept in and missed work, but. Yeah, not really. I mean, it's my weekend, so I'd rather sleep a little longer. But it's not. It wasn't too bad for me. Okay. Yeah, I said it's not too bad. I don't feel it just yet. I think I'll maybe feel it later in the day. Um, yeah, I just got a locals to go to, so I can get through three, four rounds pretty easily. <laughs> but here we go. Yeah, here we go. We're we're off to the races. Here looks like Matrix won the dice roll, and in a shocking turn of events, he has activated <laughs> Right of Aramisher. Um. Now, I don't know what this card does. I'm going to have to read it real quick. Hmm, interesting. I think it says, if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, put it in your deck. Okay, okay. So summon the token, and what is this? Uh, activated a card called Faithful Adventure from the deck. Interesting. Okay, doesn't seem too powerful. Um, just a token. All right, that, all right. So that seems like a not the most powerful star. We'll see what kind of weirdness Matrix is up to. I'm going to... Oh, hey, how's it going, Brock? In, in the chat. Nice to see you there. Nice to see you. Okay. So, in all seriousness, we, Matrix has started out on right here. Okay, so he's going to normal Ghost Dragger. Not the greatest start for him. You probably don't wish you open Ghost Dragger when you, uh, when you play this deck. But, you know, that's not the worst. It's a level 3 tuner. Here comes Draco back. Probably going to grab the Wandering Griffin Rider, discarding the Equip Spell. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Let's go to the equip spell. And Griffin's a seven, right? So then probably going into Baron. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. So they're they're gonna go Baron, maybe just Baron with the token equipped with the equip spell. Is that what we're gonna see here? He, normal summon Ghost Dogger. So it's it's gotta be you know 
and it's probably full of a bunch of other hand traps. Or there's some other play, you know, maybe he's got like a, oh no, he's going With the into token. a seven. So he's, he's going to go shooting Riser Dragon to dump something. Oh, oh, how? No, okay, he's how? going full combo. <laughs> I see. Well, yeah, this one, unfortunately, is that's not sweet. protected, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, that's risky. Yeah. That's the way think, the game is now. Ah, uh, he's going for the Red Rose. Uh, I guess one, two, the token was one, Ogre was two, Wandering was three, Hulk was four, Red Rose was five. But if Red Gamer had the nib there, that would have been the time to use it. Now, though, the Baron is online, and Red Rose Dragon is going to resolve. So that's going to get Rocks Rose Dragon from the deck. And this one adds another uh, Red Rose Dragon. So he probably already has the spell uh, in his, in his hand, hand yeah. the Revival Guy. I didn't even know you could add the Red Rose with this, but I guess it does mention... I add one card that lists it. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, very cool. Here comes the follow-up here. Are they going to Synchro for... Six? Oh, no, they're both tuners. There's a Link Summon. I bet. Um, so, I'm going to guess either Verte. There it is. Yep, there it is. Verte. Okay. UK, sending Fusion Destiny. Send the Bricks. Will summon DPE. A shocker. Shocker. <laughs> Who plays that card? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So set one pass. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not board? the most powerful board. He's probably got hand traps in his hand, though. Right. And I mean, the Hulk take out into what? Shooting Riser at that point? Yeah, probably. The Baron probably. DPE and the tag out. Yeah. So it's, it's still pretty strong. Shooting Riser can send a, probably what? Snow, perhaps? Yeah, still, still pretty strong. Uh, still a pretty strong board here. Even with right Ghost Ogre. So this is right of Aramashir and Ghost Ogre combo. Wow, that's um, pretty impressive, actually. Um, okay, so we're going to have to see Red Gamer. Oh, he's on 50 cards and he's leading off with Cursed Eldland. Okay, that's really interesting here. Um, this card is very, very good. Uh, and, you know, helps you... Add Eldritch to your hand so you can start breaking up the boards with the effects. So, it's going to be an interesting one here. Um, let's see what he decides. Now, now Matrix is deciding whether or not to negate this. Um, you know, right, then it just floats and they still get something out of it. Yeah, he could have negated with Baron and he wouldn't have gotten anything out with it. Because it's got to be sent from, I believe, the spell and trap zone to the graveyard. Right. So, nothing out there. But yeah, we're probably going to see an Eldritch... Discard, perhaps? Um, you know, discard Elvis, discard a spell or trap. Yeah, so here we go. Yeah. It's coming. Force the Baron out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, so what is he going to target here? That is a good question. That is the question, folks. What is he going to target? The only one that's forced. <laughs> oh, it's Ooh, the one to call our grave. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a good one. Called by the Grave, not always good against Eldritch, but in this situation, oof. Right. Oh, it's good. Yeah, because just that Eldritch is going to force the bear, and then bringing it back, it's a beater. So either, like you had mentioned, dumping the snow to book it, you can't pop it with DPE. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That would have, oof, Cybers. Mm, but we have a Dotscaper here, which is a good normal summon, because, I mean, if it gets popped, you can special it again. Um... So I think I think Matrix here is just gonna waste. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was a good oh by the grave for sure. Cause and also this looks like a Cyber's Eldritch deck. Most Cyber's Eldritch decks only run one Golden Lord. Lord. Yeah, yeah, so that'll hurt a lot then. Yeah. Okay, so here it comes. You're gonna see Link one into probably what's it gonna be? Link Disciple. Mm-hmm. Trigger. The Dotscaper. Oh my gosh, oh. here comes the bell. <laughs> oh, spell. All right, all right. Yeah, this is looking tough here for Red Gamer. He's got three cards, he used his normal, so we're going to need to see. You know, I, I write of Aramashir, DPE can pop the Fateful Adventure. Um, 
Illusion of Castle Sand. He needs a Magician Souls, but he, DP can pop Magician Souls at least. Right. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's going to be a tough one here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Matrix is looking pretty far ahead here. Um, he adds Magician Souls. It's going to put a card to the top of the deck here. Um, and that puts probably the ritual. Not 100% sure, but, you know, probably the ritual. Usually a safe bet there. Mm -hmm, so they so. can just get rid of it, but... Yeah, so I think... Ends the ritual. He's going to summon the souls. The question is, does he pop here? Yes, he does. He's going to pop right away. That, uh, that I, I mean... Especially depending on what the last card in your hand is, which it could be another Ghost Ogre, because he, that's what he normal summoned. Right. Then... Then he's looking good because I don't even think Wright can, can, can help well, him out of this one. Did he even use the Baron effect yet? He did. He, he called did. Oh, no, he called by Wright. He didn't, he didn't use Baron. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's going to wrap it that's up. That's game. Um, uh, okay. Okay. So Matrix so. with the Ghost Ogre Wright of Aramishir combo. Um, yeah, the only counter to that hand was probably a nib there. A nib on the the red rose that was summoned yeah, off by right Hulk. Before. Yeah, that would have been really, really uh, good. But other than that, I mean, I mean, even an imperm on the Hulk would have been really, really good as well. Um, but tough, 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 tough. So um, Matrix is gonna take game one. Ah, that was a uh, that was, I mean, pretty well played. I think, really solid. All the activations made sense from both players. Um, right, so. like without having any way to slow the board down, and then you know the call by the grave is really what just hurt because otherwise he could have started to force out a couple interactions at least with the uh, with the Golden Lord. But right, right, yeah, that's the grave was is... huge. Sorry, I actually just noticed Red Gamers. 51 cards, not 50. Um, I wonder what the 51st card is. Very curious. Uh, but start. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out later. Uh, right, he's chosen to go first to this game. So, you know, off to a better Shocker. start, probably. Probably. Um, and Curse Ellen, that's a card you want to see in your opening hand. You know, if you're playing Eldritch, you want to see that card in your opening hand. That card is... Um, as the kids say, well, any any other card in the archetype, <laughs> for the most part. Most part, most part. But I think Cursed Ellen is by far the best card. Uh, maybe Elixir is a little better, but I don't know. It's a close one. Um, okay, so he adds Conquistador, and he's going to go Fusion Destiny right away. That's going to get met by an oh, Ash, ash. Um, which I think is not the worst here. Uh, unless he's, Red Gamer's thinking about, does he, does he also have a call by the grave? He does! Oh my does. gosh. Oh. That's um, the 51st card. There you go. So we've seen two call by the graves already here in two games. Um, so this Fusion Destiny is going to resolve. Uh, and I think it's going to be a Fusion Destiny set, a, set some traps angle, it looks like, right? Because we're not going to see any sideburst, we're not going to see any Magician Souls. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be Fusion Destiny set some traps. And I think, you know, Red, Red is like, if I can just make it to the next turn without right. losing, it's over. And Matrix is like, I need to just, like, get rid of all his stuff on this turn. Because I'm just going to float. Everything's going to float, I'm going to imagine, right? I'm going to see the DP is going to float. The traps are going to float. So good chance for a draw to follow up. Good chance for a draw to follow up. So, yeah, he's really, really sort of incentivized to just try to kill him this turn. And as we see here... Setting two to the back row. If one of them's Elixir, the Scarlet Sanguine, that's going to be really, really strong here. Uh, but I think he actually he's guaranteed to get the Elixir because DP pops Cursed Eldland here. Um, and Cursed that's, can send. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cursed can send Akero or Conk. That's going to be that. So organizing his chain links there. One DP, two land. Makes sense because. We already know Matrix is on the Ghost Bell, Ghost Bell. and he already right. ashed this turn. So uh, I like the, the chain link ordering there, and then he's gonna activate. So two pops, 
two pops and then a mystery back row and a mystery card is what we're looking at here versus Matrix's five card hand after you pause here. Do you side in back row removal going against that worst? I never know. I, I I never know if you should or not. It's like, is it is it really worth it? I don't know. In this situation, you're like, yes, if I have lightning storm, I'm feeling good. Um, right. But I don't know. That that that's so eh. Yeah, it's that whole like um when Synchro Eldritch was like absolutely insane way back. Was that two years ago almost already now when it first came out? Like it's only one card. Like, how do you stop the best control deck? That's the best combo deck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's ex yeah, exactly the one card. I mean, this is sort of the same thing. Like you said, yeah, it is. This is like the one card link engine um, that goes along with the Eldritch cards. Uh, Matrix gonna have a little think here because he's in a bit of a tough spot. Um, I don't know if you lead on right. Is getting popped. The fake fools getting popped. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, and there's a chance you run two fake full in your deck as well if you're made. Yeah, it has seemed to be more common lately. Mm -hmm. But you're still going to lose out on one effect at them. Because, I mean, I'm just, you know, they're going to go effect, fake and then it's going to get popped. Um. Unfortunately, having a second Ash here is, doesn't work because it got called by the Groove last turn. It'll just be negated again. So even if he has Ash for the Scarlet, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cycloner evenly does work well against this deck. The problem is if you're not stopping the extra deck lock, you'd lose anyway. Kind of sucks. Um, so now we'll have to see here. Um, might just give it a. Uh, Big thing here, yeah. He's, so he's, yeah. he might have a good enough hand to have an attempt to play. Um, you know, it's probably one of those hands that's like not. It's like in the mid mid range, you know. Yeah, uh, like, like do obvious. I make the push? But just try and think it out. I mean, even though he doesn't have it in grave, Ghost Bell can still hit the Sanguine at least. So true, Ghost Bell can hit the Sanguine. Um, that it, that does work. That does work. Um, that trades a card for a pop. So he's still got a... So he's going to go Prosperity for one more. He's going to finish one more. Prosperity for six, it looks like here. Let's see what we hit. Okay. Uh, so five hand traps and a red roast dragon. <laughs> So I guess you kind of have to take Red Rose. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Ash is dead. Valor can't be used. I assume you're not going to be able to force anything, especially if he knows you take the Gamma. Yeah, if you take the Gamma, there's just, there's just no way, right? Like, how is Token Collector at this point is... Yeah. Not very good. So yeah, you pretty much have to take the rose. Uh, so we can be pretty confident. Luke says we can be pretty confident that Bell would have to have been the draw for the turn, or have been used on cult by. You're absolutely right. Actually, that that does make sense. Um, probably doesn't have the bell on his hand. True. Right. He would have. He has a by gamma it. now. His gamma. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I see. So he's, he's going to lead on faithful. Oh, okay. Um. I mean, maybe it's okay to just let this resolve. Okay, this is a tough one. Um, even he can get to the token to. Oh, he's got the sanguine and conch to right. pop. Right. So the question is, this, yeah, does he want to use sanguine conch to pop this? Yeah, because um, you can't DPE. Well, you can, but it's going to get met by a gamma. And... Right. You don't want that to happen. That's going to be a free level eight or a free halk. So. Okay, so we're going to probably see a conch uh, elixir used on this. Um, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, the problem with prosperity, though, I have to say, is that this takes away the OTK potential. Right. Um, there is basically no way that, that is dying this. Yeah. And if you can get the value from his cards 
X turn, he's going to be in a really, really, really good spot here. And so, yeah, that's going to pop that. Um, so the first effect was the add a monster. So you can still get the equip spell. Um, you know, and that could be pretty strong. Right? That, that'll get rid of both pops. And, um, but we'll have to see. He still has the gamma in his hand. So we just have to make sure to remember that. Keep that sort of in the... Tucked away. Yeah, tucked away in the back. Don't forget. <laughs> you know? Don't forget. So... We'll see. We do see a lot of hand traps, and that's what one thing that's really impressive about this like a slimmer version of PE Red Rose Dragon, you know, adventurer, really, really good engine deck is that they sort of cut out some of the other engines or played smaller numbers. They're just playing tons of hand traps. Um, and the hand traps are like combo starters. So we saw a hand trap, uh, right of Aramisher is still really, really strong. Um, as long as it doesn't get interrupted. So I think we just saw a turn pass from Matrix here. Ooh, end phase though, DPE, and then he can gamma it, because Fusion mm. Destiny will pop it. No, but he, he used the DPE or, uh, on his turn. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one's not even going to be sent to the, to the graveyard here. Uh, That's why and... I'm on this side of the camera, not playing. <laughs> yeah, so he, oh, he gets the, the dasher. dasher he draw phase. Ooh, has the Griffin Rider. Uh, I mean, you can gamma this, but just like you're gaming it to just stay alive, probably. Um, yeah, I mean, so. if you don't, don't you lose though? Yeah, so what is he? He's already got 5,000 what... plus this conk is 500, so 55, and then wandering. So it's, it'll only be 75 on the board, I think. Um, technically, but he's well, then you up. uh link the conk for um spider, and that's another thousand there, true, so. True, true. Yeah, link the conk for a spider. Yeah, you have to gamma that. Yeah, okay, makes sense. The gamma is out. Um, he still gets to keep the Griffin Rider in his hand, though. The question is, as as Red, how do you how do you go about this? You know, what what's your what's your plan of attack? Are you still trying to kill this turn? Are you just saying, well, okay, if I can just set my hand, you know, like I'm gonna get the DP value and, and probably be good next turn. Um, I'm wondering how he's thinking about this because you know he could he could tribute summon one to get you know wondering Griffin right. Rider out. A uh, lot of options here. A lot of options. You've got to imagine Matrix's hand of, is full of hand traps. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting, right? I think obviously Red is pretty ahead here. But like, what hand traps do you not want to fall prey to? Um, Nibiru, right? Well, there, I don't think there's any reason to fall prey to, to a Nibiru here, especially since you just fusion destiny turn one. Um, right, yeah. Definitely oh. no reason to fall prey to a Nibiru. Um, looks like we're going to be getting what? Helk, probably? Or Verde or Helk? Verte or, well, Verte probably unlikely unless he runs a Nibiru fusion to summon. Right. Um, oh, true, yeah. So, yeah, the Helk. Yeah, okay. So, here comes Helk. Do they run access code go for that route they could let me let me just yeah, i'm just doing some counting here so this is two summons already three after this resolves okay so maybe he runs appaloosa um appaloosa would be great here uh if you wanted to play it safe uh or we okay, just so go no, we're going <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hate bait at the new this is okay too i think he only committed one card in his hand to bait at the Nibiru. It's, it's okay, I think. Just forcing out the Nib. Coming, I think this is going to be a, a Selene, perhaps? Oh no, a Unicorn, but yeah, okay. Makes this sense. Card. Get the card out of that. hand. Yeah, yeah, this is going to allow the Celestial to resolve. Um, and then this should be... Still not quite lethal. He's going to have to send his back oh. row to the grave. This summon right, back to get the... that Lord. Lord, so it is still Nibiru. Um, it is still you know Nibiru, Nibiru, uh, Nibiru vulnerable. Bull, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but he will still have the DPE. Um, and and so that should be okay. That should be that should be good. He still got the DPE. Gonna get the 
going to get these cards. Now, I like this. He chained the uh, Scarlet to the Celestial just to thin out his deck a little bit, right? You don't need to draw the traps. You're already going to get both of them. So, um, yeah, if you have a guaranteed, why, why draw it? Right, exactly. Okay, so here comes the Golden Lord. Interesting that he sent the um, Conquistador. I guess this is playing around the Nibiru, but now I don't see how you OTK. So, right. That's interesting. Because um, you could still get hit by... Does it play around Nibiru that well? If you got nibbed here as opposed to summoning access code? Well, no, I meant... Um, I meant if he sent the spell and trap to the graveyard to summon, like one of the real spell oh, and traps... Right. Then he He's would, got more bet, then more. the access, the Nibiru would be forced. Obviously, it looks like, I don't think, I mean, Matrix would kind of, you kind of have to Nibiru here. To be honest, there's really no... Um, oh, that's still game, though. Because the 1,000 for uh, Golden Lord, right? No, because... Yeah. Oh, I see, it's a pop Lord here. Oh, I see, I see. So, what is this, 35? Oh, it is still game. Yeah, it's uh, still game. Actually, I like, yeah, I see, I see. He was going to pop his Golden Lord. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Keep wow. the back row. Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. Makes sense. Go to battle phase. Um, yeah. He actually, DP pops his lord. Actually, is DP the lord? Is it? Yeah, it's all card effects. The so DP pops his lord. Yep. And the um, connection issue. And the driver. That's game. That actually was really well played. I didn't even. Do that. I guess it's a little bit early. <laughs> a bit early for me. Oh, a we still got over me. 16 minutes for game three, too. Yeah, yeah I think Matrix he might have had one of the side decking bugs, too. Sometimes there's like a bug. Oh. Um, it happens to a lot of people. It doesn't happen to me. So... Yeah, that was pretty well played by Red. I mean, obviously, you know, he just had his hand was better. Um, but that's okay. I think, you know, still played it pretty well. Um, I think Matrix adding the Gamma, sometimes it makes sense just to complicate the game a little bit. Sometimes when you're behind, you just want to complicate the game. You know, make it complicated. Yeah, try and sur survive another turn and Yeah, make it complicated. You just want to forget something, you know, make, make it complicated. That, that's a really good, um, you know, uh, sort of mystic. Um, yeah, I know, like, uh, I'm not really much of a chess player, but I know, like, in chess, if you're behind, you don't want to trade off all your pieces because then it gets too simple, too easy for your opponent to win from that point. So keep, keep all the pieces on, on the field and make it really complicated. So, um, game three, uh, Matrix, luckily for him, gets to go first. Um, I kind of like that. You know, you, you, you lose, all right, you get, you get to choose. You know, it's very, it's very like, okay, all right, put, you know, they're patting you on the back saying, it's all right, man, you just lost. It's okay. You get to choose, though. You get to choose. Um, See, and I'm horrible at die rolls. That's why I usually play a deck like Cyber Dragon because it just kind of takes that aspect out of game one for me, at least. True, 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 true. But then, you know, when you're at the top tables with Cyber Dragon, you know, all your opponents are like, hmm, they win the dice roll. Oh, no, <laughs> John, please. I insist that you go first. Um, yeah. Yeah. But okay, here we are. Here we are. Game, game three. three. Here in top eight, Matrix did decide to go first in another shocking turn of events. And to start with Illusion of Chaos, um, this is good. This is good. Mm, yeah, I mean, Souls is always good. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't say anything Argue bad that. about this card, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but maybe he doesn't have the Brave Engine to go with it, so it's just, a, just a, you, you hoping when your opponent does that, it's just, a, it's just an extender. Ooh. And it turns out it looks like it is. It's just an extender. Yeah. So no yeah, crazy with the brave, drawing. With the brave one, it's a free pot agree. That's just, it's like celestial good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but here you go. This makes sense. I like this. Um, making the herald so you can synchro with red rose. That's really cool. It adds in the gate plus, plus summons plus gets a basal rose shoot here. So that's that's really really strong actually. So um, now we still got help combo protected by. Arc light. Yeah, I don't know what you're summing off Hulk though. If it's not the Rose Dragon. A Rose Tree. Yeah, yeah. I True. don't know what you're summoning. True. I mean, it could be a tuner, but I don't know if they summon another good tuner that that you want to use here. So thinking a little bit here, it could just be you know DPE 
Um, but then if you do this, the, the DPE materials do get banished because of the Herald. So then um, you lose your draw two. You lose your draw two, which is still okay. Um, oh, Ooh. wow. Interesting. And then both of these offer shooting risers, so he really wants what? What does he really want in the graveyard here? Does he have one of those silver bullets in his deck that he can send off this? He can send off this shooting riser. Let us see here. Is it gonna be what's it gonna be here? It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Now what's interesting is, you know, he could have used the basal rose shoot and made the Halk to, to send this instead. Um, and if he did one more extender, he could have Halk and Verte. Um, but if he doesn't send Token Collector, this makes sense. It's good against the Cybers Eldritch combo. Um, there's right, no doubt it's kind of hand dependent. If Gamer opens like last game, though, it's not going to do a whole lot. It's not going to do a whole lot. That is true. Um, it's nice to just have, have you know, in the future. So he's just going to go and fusion destiny this way um so yeah this makes this makes sense here not chain blocking uh is there actually a way to chain block riser that i'm missing oh i see um, i see what you're saying you think he oh he could have used herald yeah he probably only runs one illusion um i think this deck only does run one illusion one souls um I think it's kind of just play only useful cards even at one, just so every card does something essentially. Yeah, yeah, but it's other a good than point. like your celestial dasher. Yeah, which you kind of have you have to play those, unfortunately. Um, Probably explains the forty-three card deck, though. Yeah, see him a little less. Yeah. Okay, so he's got token collector DPE here, which is which is good because the traps are not gonna put pressure on you turn one. Right, the traps. Right, and you can. He's gonna have to set them, so. That makes that makes you know sense. Um, with the Cybers engine, he does open it though. Does so. open it now, now. Obviously, he's not gonna play into token collector. Um, so I mean, I guess he's just gonna go dotscaper. What maybe make a verte? Um, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to think what kind of what kind of element. Uh, think what kind of play that that red could make here. Um, there's also two back rows, so I'm I'm trying to figure out what those might be. Um, in all honesty, I don't know. Does the rose shoot offer anything next turn, or would it be better to set as a bluff? Protect the back row right. you it actually be... want. No, there, yeah, that's that's a good point. It could be Basil Rose Shoot. Could just be a bluff. Um, maybe like an Imperm. I don't know. This is an interesting one for sure. Sure. Going into the Cyber stuff though, if he does get the Token Collector out and can shut down the um. Cyber's engine with it to the point then he can shooting riser into another seven with the token collector. I don't know if they play more mm, mm. sevens that would be worth it. Mm. Thing. Unfortunately, shooting riser is a tuner, or else last turn he could have played made a baron with one of the level three tuners. Um, but yeah, so he's going to go Dotscaper. Dotscaper is going to resolve. Matrix had a pretty big think about that one. So what is this? Can we make the read that that's a bell? Um, it was Dotscaper. Or called by the grave again. Or called by. Yeah, it could be called by. We'll see it all, th all yeah, three see games. Yeah, see it all three games. Hey, that's, that's how top eight should be, right? That's how top eight should be. <laughs> that's how they get here. Mm, interesting. So he's going for Cyber's Eldritch regardless. Obviously, Link Devotee, you're going to let that sort of resolve here. Yeah. That's a, that, that's Ghost just Ogre effect. always feels good there, though. Yeah, it does always feel good. It does always feel good. Um, yeah, I got to declare those mandatory effects. Don't get sloppy on us now. So, no, Red's doing a good job, though. I mean, I just... I, I feel like... 
you're probably okay with him shipping it off. You have token collector, right? I, right. Yeah. So you'll get rid of the tokens, get a free body. You don't even have to use Riser then. You just have the free body at that point. Yeah. Let me see what this is. Once per chain, yes. I guess. Or something. Yeah. It does stop the draw from Link Disciple, at least temporarily. Ooh. Ooh a droplet. Fishing Cypress Gadget. Fish one more. But I mean... A token collector's still going to be pretty good. Yeah, the token collector's still going to be pretty I mean, he might just, he might just be going, going to go straight into Verte. Well, he didn't need to use a Link Devotee then in that case. It's just kind of interesting. He could have just done it with the dot scheme. Um, yeah, I have seen a few black roses as a second seven target. Yeah, that, that does come up. Negates DPE. So if he does tribute for tokens, I mean, token collectors are going to come back and he can synchro with shooting riser. Probably. Although it's going to be level seven still. Level seven still, right? Yeah. Yeah, riser's. Not end of turn, it just reduces. Yeah, so clearly, I mean, I mean, red must be prepared for the token collector. That's the only thing I can think of, because he's tripping it off here. Going to summon the tokens. Then the collector is going to come back, so he must be ready for it. Or he just really needs to draw. His hand's, like, really, really bad. That's probably... What is going on here? Okay, so he is ready Ooh, for it. He does have a call, call by the grave. grave. Now, this could be the Big bell, games. though. This could be the bell. This would be the time to use it. This would too. be the time to use it. Um, but he is ready for the token collector. So we do see three called by the graves in three games here on our first top eight match. He's going after the collector. It resolves. Ooh, okay. It. So uh, Red's got a shot here. He's got a shot. Got a shot. Has got a shot. I mean, wow. Yeah, this is... This is pretty good. So... So no um, matter what, he's got the Cybers combo at least. Yeah, the question is... You know what are we doing on the on the follow up here? Are we are we going? Oh, faithful, faithful is not bad here. What's the last card in Matrix's hand? What's the last card in Matrix's hand? We don't we don't know. It could be Basil Roshu, faithful adventurer. What will he go for? He's gonna go for Water Enchantress, which makes sense. This is actually really good because the Water Enchantress is probably going to get... I mean, obviously, it's going to get Rite of Aramisure, and then that's going to get the Equip Spell. Um, yeah, that's going to get the Equip Spell. So and the can, Equip Spell will bounce DPE. That gets so, Yeah, so then that. it can, can't come back. Mm. Now, the question is, yeah, can he establish you know, his own DPE, and can he get one more sort of set of interruption? Can he get a Scythe going? Now, he might not have Scythe in his deck because he went second. Um, so that's, you know, that's a possibility because here we can see this one come down to the wire here uh, in game three because we're not sure. But it looks like he's linking off the Link Disciple. This is probably a Dagda then because he's using a normal monster here. But we're probably going to see a Dagda. Um, so it's going to be Dagda, activate right, chain Dagda. Uh, wow. Okay, so Red's looking good because if he has Scythe in his deck still, that's really good. Like that that's a way to lock your opponent out the next turn and then give you that one turn you need to recover. Um, right. So Yeah, just stall him a turn and then go off on yours. Yeah, now he didn't he didn't chain Dagda to this fateful adventure, I think. Yeah, I I uh, I think maybe he doesn't have the scythe. That's the case. Just went for the summon to get the, the equip trigger. spell before you. Yeah. The trigger. Um, I'm not get sure. The free discard. Why not just go for like Link Spider Verte though? In that case, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. Does he have some? Is he going to trigger it later? Perhaps. No. Is there some reason to trigger it later? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see here. 
Um, maybe he doesn't have a second stack. Yeah, if he's trying to force something out or get the uh, protection from... Well, he's going to go for trap here, or a lingerie, but to negate traps. I still am, am not... Um, oh. I don't know what's going on here exactly. Oh, he's going to go for a dark charmer. Ah, look at that. That is cool. He's going to target what? Souls. On souls. He's going to be able to get some value here. Okay. So now this is starting to make a little more sense to me. Again, though, I don't understand why the deck, the, um, hmm. Yeah, cause you could have just used the disciple or went into Lingaribo with a token and used the Garibo and disciples. Right, exactly. Still Maybe he's supposed to clear his field. field. But yeah. Um, okay, so he's gonna take souls. Souls can draw here, which is pretty cool. Um, did he use in? Oh, what just happened there? Uh, he was thinking on the soul summon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now this makes sense because now he goes boom, adds the equip spell. Oh, Ooh, here comes the nib. That's huge. That's huge, right? Because all he needs to do is survive one turn. One turn, I think Matrix has got this in the bag. Now it's still it's still close because because you know the the, the Celestial is probably gonna have to draw him something good, um, but it's probably gonna draw him something good. Um, you know we're looking at here like a sixty four thirty eight token, by the way. Yeah, big Roughly. token. Now, if he still, I still haven't seen him try to add the equip spell, which might mean he doesn't have it. Although it's really good going second, I feel like you you would definitely have that card in your deck. Um, unless he opened it do we know because he has at least one in hand that should be from his opening five I think he only drew the one off disciple yeah yeah he, he, he should be able to trigger this too to add the equip spell Fusion destiny wow okay okay that's a good, that's that's a good card good. to have that's a good one to have so I, I'm still confused does he not have the equip spell on his deck I'm, 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 am I missing something yeah. I feel uh, like that's not something you forget in top eight. Yeah, I, I feel like he just doesn't have it in his deck. I mean, you would never forget the equip yeah, spell. Like it. when you play right, like every day, day after day, no way you'd ever forget. Did he add it and we missed it? Maybe he did add it and we missed it. I think so. I am. I I did wake up early though, so I could be wrong on that one. Oh, he added it. Okay, this, this, that makes a lot more sense. Thank you, Muhammad. I guess I just missed it. I am. I right. did have to wake up very early today. Uh, um, Brock, no, that timer should not include the extension, I don't believe. Because that's just a general timer for the round. What? No, did he really not add it? Why didn't he? Hmm. Last card hands equipped spell. Okay. I think that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. He added it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, the wow, he gets the call by Wait, so there's been four call bys. That's... In three games. In three games. <laughs> And what he hit the call by too. Okay, okay. So stay in the equip spell for later. One. Okay, that that's okay. That's okay. Now it makes sense. He added the equip spell. Okay. Okay. Now it makes sense. He hits the call by. That's huge. Imagine that if he huge. hit the other card and then called by just. Because when we know this is Basil Roshu back, now, right? That's the last card in hand. Yep. Because if Basil Roshu turned the end phase. Um, so everything is known at this point. Yeah, everything is known. Wow, that was a pretty big 50-50 there. Because if he has the road shoot, that gets a, that gets an effect. Um, Rox Rose is going to add the Red Rose Dragon. So he's just getting material here for next turn. That makes sense. Okay, so... We'll at least get the yeah, we've got time rolls, 0, 1, 2, 3. I think we have a 3-minute extension still. So we're still... Um, got 3 minutes after this timer runs out. And then we will see... Uh, we'll start the turns. Um, okay, so boom. Here comes the DP in the standby phase. So no dash or summon either on Matrix's end. Yeah, no dash or summon, so it probably means he drew Spell and Trap. Um, and he has the Red Rose. He's got the Red Rose, which we're probably going to see normal summons here. Nibiru is not really a good level to synchro with, so that's really not going to do much there. If he wants to get the DP pop out of the way, he could just attack now. 
Um, but if I was Matrix, I would really, you know, value my battle phase highly this turn because if things go right for me, I could perhaps just aim. Um, is there another Hulk play that he could go to force things and yeah, that's what hit I'm trying it to figure in his out. favor? I don't, I don't know. Um, so we saw the awkward turn one turn. Yeah, I mean, here comes, okay, so here comes Red Rose. He's going to draw two first to see, see what's going on. Uh, that makes sense. I mean, you're probably normal summoning Red Rose anyway. Um, I don't know what, you know, is it like just another spell and trap? Who knows? Um, but he's got a lot of good draws. Um, you know, Faithful Adventure, Rite of Aramisure, both pretty good draws here. Um, so, okay. This is going to be an interesting one. Um, he drew the right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, so here comes the right of Arrow is sure. Uh, and out comes Pops to Fateful Adventure. Um, and what's he going to do? Is he going to go Adventure Effect? I mean, you, this kind of forces the DPE at this point because the Eclipse right. is coming. Whip spell is coming, friends. Whip spell is coming. Now, okay, if we know the last card in hand is not is the equip spell, then then sort of matrix is sort of just free to go. Okay, so we got the confirmation. Three minutes has passed. This is turn zero. Um and and uh we've got we're gonna have to I think we're gonna have a resolution to this duel. I think this duel is ending in, in the in the three turns. Zero, one, two, three. Um, or at least it'll be clear who the winner is. Um, right. So this should be that should be good. Okay. So comes fateful. Does DP pop this? I mean, you kind of have to because this is going to get too much of <laughs> So I don't see how you don't pop this. Yeah, especially because heck. Also, good play by Matrix here to banish the DPE instead of the Dasher. The, the DPE is never coming back, but the Dasher still might have some use in the graveyard. So I like that. Right. Yeah. Mark. Makes sense. Um. Okay, so here comes DPE. I mean. Either you have an imperm or you don't, so probably resolving. That's gonna pop the fateful. Um and still the nip token you said was how much defense? Three thousand something? Uh thirty eight, I believe. Cause it should have just been the riser and DPE. Thirty eight. Since okay. token and dark don't give any defense. All right, okay. I don't believe it gets anything from the token. Sense. Um, gonna see. I think it's going to be a Hulk, probably. Yeah, he, he might have an access code play. Hulk into a tuner into an access code. That's game, right? I think that's it. Yeah. That's going to be yep. 53, 3,000 if he has the League 3 to go along with it. So that should do the trick. Um, Not just any tuner spellcaster should be, like you said, game. Yeah, any Well, he don't have the Lynx good. engraved to... Oh, never mind. He would have the Selene and Helk at that point. Yeah. So say he has no Lynx engraved. I mean, but... he doesn't even need to run Selene. He could, he could be playing any Link 3 in the scenario, and I think he should oh. be fine. Oh, right, right. Just summon anything, unicorn, pop. Yep. Or not yep. pop, spin, but... Is access code two effect monsters? It doesn't matter, because you can just use the token plus how for, for... So I think this one's probably going to be wrapped up here in, in just a bit here. And that's... Do you go Unicorn just in case and spin the DPE on the off chance that Gamer has a nib as well? 
Uh, yeah, big, I mean, big I hypothetical, guess. I think, but... I think, I think, um, kind of told us that that's definitely the equip spell. Um, oh, right, right. So, I mean, I would do it anyway, just it's cleaner. Why not? You know? Like, just in case for some reason your, you know, your brain is lagging and you can't count. Like, you're like, oh, I messed up or whatever. Right, or forgot their hand when you're trying to game or... Right, exactly. Something, exactly. Something. Exactly. So yeah, I think this is going to be it. I think, I think Matrix is just lagging. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, he's, the city's lagging pretty... I think this one's basically his duel, though. He's just going to make the... Unicorn. Right. There we go. Here yeah, it it's not like he's not like he's in the losing position, saying lagging, like trying to get to that fifteen minute mark. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. in a pretty pretty clear position. Yep, and I think this is gonna do it. Uh, he's gonna draw a card off souls for the for the fun of it, and um, yeah, access code pop pop attack pop, pop, for attack, game. Attack, attack, and that should do it. Yeah, well, congratulations to Matrix. He has won the continues. top eight. Wow. Okay, very, very cool. Very, very cool. That was a really good duel. We saw a lot of called by the graves in that one. Right. <laughs> Four called yeah. by the graves. Four. And these are, these are not even 40 guard decks, uh, mind you. So we're off to a <laughs> good start. 51 and 43. Yeah, we're off to a good start here. We're off to a good start. It's exciting. We got some good duels. That was a good duel. I think, honestly, I think both players played that very well. Better than me. Uh, so better than I would have. Definitely. So very, very impressive. Very impressive. Um, yeah, there think... wasn't like a misplay that jumped out or like said, oh, they just lost themselves the game. They both played, like you had mentioned, pretty, pretty, solidly. pretty well. Yeah, pretty solidly. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for Top 8. We're going to take a short break. I'm going to imagine that Top 4 is going to be starting very soon because this match went to time. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be guessing that that's the case. So I will see you all probably in a couple minutes. Um, and and we will be back with top four. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Uh, and stick around because it's it's just gonna get more intense. Four Paul, four colleagues in top eight. Who knows what's gonna happen in top four? Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting one. So, uh, John and I will see you all in just a second. See you in a bit.
All right, everybody, we are back here for top eight. Um, or top four, excuse me. God, I really am tired. We got the breakdown here of top eight players. We got it looks like two Despia, two Sword Soul, a Prank Kids, a base, and Elgin of Phantom Knights. How are you feeling about this, uh, this top eight, John? What, 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 um, anything jump out to you? I think it's really odd to say that Phantom Knight making it is weird because <laughs> it's a deck that I had such high hopes for. Yeah. But I think just the other, I think it's not a case of not being good enough. I think it's the other combo decks just being valid, just aren't playing, but it's still being a really strong deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's, it's so interesting that that is not good enough. Um, I think about, yeah. the room is up. If yeah, you the room is up. I'm, I'm about to join it. I'm seeing okay. here. I'm going to just remove this. Like, I've got prank kids. I wonder what we're going to see here. Two Sword Soul. I mean, two Sword Soul and two Despia. Really amazed. That, I mean, these decks are doing well. Maybe we get to see them in this in this round here. Um, okay, let me remove the. Well, I know. Sorry, go ahead. I have uh, been doing since real life regionals pick back up top eight breakdowns uh, weekly on my channel. So if anyone wants to see those. But like Sword Soul and was actually tied with Prank Kids for second most top eights last weekend. I found that pretty interesting because they came on strong right before the branded release and everything. And they actually finished really well then too. The top three, I think, for last weekend top eights were Prank Kids and Sword Soul. So kind of mirroring that almost here. Yeah, it's but yeah, cool. Prank or not Prank Kids fan. The Phantom Knights, like part of me almost likes it without the Brave Engine, as good as it is. I just feel like it's big and not playing it kind of almost can give you an advantage by playing 10 other cards to help with the format. And the deck's still really strong without it. It's kind of just a give and take on, on that. But then you're not falling victim to certain counters that people are like preparing for the Brave Engine as well. Um, hard losing to Lancia is still a problem though. Okay, um, so here we are. So we're in top four. Thank you for that very actually interesting insight, John. It's appreciated. Um, we're here in top four of the Dragon Rider Championship Series Cash Ooh. Cup. If you want to play you in the Cash Cup... will see a Sword Soul. Yeah, we're seeing the Sword Soul. If you want to play in the Cash Cup, we're going to see Moe right off the bat here. Uh, you can check out the link in the description um, or any tournament, actually, uh, in that case. And um, there's a, there should be a link in the description. It's a, it's a group where you can just play online. You give the events are run extremely well. Um, and, you know, as you can see here, we're, we're moving along here. We're already jumping into top four. We have Karim starting with Moji. You love to start with Moji. Oh, God, does that feel good if you're a Sword Soul player. Little Moji, everything's resolved. You get to say Chain Link 2 Moji. Oof, that feels good. Um... And he's just gonna pass. pass. Wow! So he's, we know he has Long Yin in his hand. By the way, like and he, he emergence just didn't want to extend oh. into a Nibiru here. But Kareem very quickly decides. Okay, I, no, I'm not. I'm not playing. I mean, so his hand has got to be like a million traps, right? Or, or either that, or he knows he's on Despia. So we're gonna see Brand opening, discard Water and Trench from the Temple. That is basically like Mo Yi, um, maybe even better. Here comes a Luber. This is going to add a Brand Spot Trap from the deck to the hand. So if you're not, guys, are not familiar with the Despia stuff yet. Brand Opening is a special summon. You're going to be careful because it's also a Bailinx. Um, so it's going to add a Brandon in red, which is basically the Fusion Summon. Uh, it's like a Revolt, almost, here. Um, so boom, he goes Water Enchantress. That's going to get hit by a Bell. Now you might be asking, how can you Bell this? Well, it's because it can add the Right from Graveyard. Um, yep. But... Yeah, yeah, that it is... does banish for cost, but yeah, it does banish for cost. Okay, so what are we gonna see here? We we had a Luber adding Brandon in red. Um, now I'm not, I'm still not too familiar to be honest with the 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 Despia deck. Anything? Okay, Ooh. so it's gonna go. Well, yeah, Brand Fusion Bell Ash. Ash is pretty good with Despia. <laughs> yeah, Ash is good. So Ash for the Brand Fusion, Bell for the Water Enchantress Temple. here, and um. And he's got a good follow-up with Emergence and Long Young, assuming, he assuming he has another worm in hand. He does. He does. So let's see what happens here. How can Jim play? How can Jim play? He's, he's locked into fusions. I mean, this deck pretty much only runs fusions. 
Yeah, that he means shouldn't no care verte. about that. No verte anaconda here. Um. So what will we see? What will we see? We're gonna see Despian strategy. That's a good one. Um, but he again, I don't believe he can link some. There has to be some sort of play here. Um, battle phase crash it for the effect. I think this has to be. Ooh. Have to be sent by card effect. Nope, it's, just sent or banished. Oh, so I it's see. like banished by card it's effect. Like, I it's see, really I see. strong. Yeah. I see. I see. So he's just gonna crash. Um. This is gonna then grab um uh, ad I can't think of the name like ad lib ad, ad lib they call it yeah I think that's the play yeah yeah, yeah. online you is great Alex it's it's uh, it's really like it's nice to be able to play uh, on dueling do you grab well. a luber for next turn maybe maybe he could also try to use the Brendan and red this turn um okay there we see it good call so wait, did he add something out I wasn't even paying attention. Um, no, he did not. No, but I think that he declared Despian. Brandon grabs the tragedy. Oh, and a ghost spell. Yes, yeah, so he's going to go through the different way. I thought he just... Okay, maybe I'm confused. I guess he just crashed it to just... Oh, he didn't use the tragedy because now he can chain block the chimera. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Chain link one, chimera, chain link two, tragedy. They use two from field, one from hand, right? So it's draw two, two from pop hand. one. Two from two Oh, you from use hand. two from hand. Okay, so it's pop one, see, draw yeah. two. I see, I see. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess my chain gosh. blocking don't work because it's an imperm type. Yeah, so what happened? He just went sword soul on this. And he's saying you can't. I'm oh, let's see he what's happening. Went... Yeah, he tried to chain comedy, but I don't think that that made. I I couldn't read comedy quick enough. Yeah, yeah Shishan I mean... negated the Guardian Chimera, so nothing got popped, no draws. This is just going to attack. Unfortunately, I think that this makes Kareem in a really really good spot here. As I mean, just ha yeah, he just got the the, fo the best follow up basically in the game. Right. Right. I mean, this is just going to be. A a go protect your combo can a pop the kind of and he still has emergence. So if he has a worm in his hand, I mean he's gonna get another Mogi. It's and it's gonna be yeah, it's 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 oh it's over. Streamline is the only link up right now. Oh, that's weird. I thought um I will post it in chat. I I thought I edited it on on my stream app side. I will throw the group link in the chat at least. I know I can do that much. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. I, I'm gonna update it again. Yeah, that okay. was. I wonder if he wasn't thinking that Cheeks was like an imperm type negate. Because I know when I first saw it, it's like, oh, he's just chain blocking it. But then everything kind of clicks, and it's like you can't chain block the Cheeks out. It just negates a face up card. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, if so it here... had to go direct, but oh, Boxia comes out yeah. and then we scoop. So, so I tried to pop with Baron, point, negate, so. uh, banish the thing, um, and I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Jim had another line to take. Is there was there another line that I'm seeing? Like, Brandon, maybe um, he should have went for a different fusion. But I mean, it's just no matter what fusion you go for, it's, it's going to get negated by the Chi Xiao, right? I, I don't see. Yeah, the the Ash Bell and Cheeks out with full follow up was pretty strong. Yeah, I like how I like how um, Kareem played that one. Ash Bell. Oh, comedy could protect if it were a Despia fusion, but it's not. Oh, I see. So maybe he should have went for a Despia fusion. Then I don't know. Are there any good Despia fusions? Your or a branded um, fusion? I have to read Despian comedy. Despian fusions. There's. I don't know if there's any of them that would have helped in that situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might have been able to like out the cheeks out going that route, but then you're still facing the long young emergence follow up play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but he he what he really needed was the draws. He right. Get some, you know, like a right basically. He 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 hadn't activated right that turn. Um. Okay. Well. 
that was a strong a very game one. Quick game one, but um, I think you know, well played by Kareem. Yep, Sword Soul coming in very strong. Yeah, Sword Soul is still good. Now I think Despi is one of those decks where if it gets going, you know, it gets going. Like it's hard to stop. You know, whereas right. I feel like Sword Soul's pretty consistent, right? Like it's got the it's got the follow up if it has the follow up, but it's not like you know it's really very varying. But I think you know we're gonna see Jim go first uh, here in game two here. Um, I definitely say Sword Soul Two is not as die roll dependent as some decks are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, it's all gonna depend here on the hand traps. I don't know, you know, like we'll have to see what Jim opens here. Um, like. You know what? Yes, it's got Fateful, but not right. So that's better than Fateful. Um, and and he's gonna go and send the Water Enchantress. Makes sense. Or add it and discard it. Technically speaking. Um, so <laughs> I guess if you send it directly to the graveyard, you play around roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Hey. It's the oh, and he opens the Griffin. Okay, okay. So he's gonna chain Griffin. Boom, boom, boom. Going. That to... always makes the Enchantress play a lot nicer when you open your Griffin, anyway. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna add the Equip Spell here. It's that. That's all good. That's all good. Um, and what is he gonna follow it up with? So just it's important to know you 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 can't normal summon a Luber and activate the effect in, in these lines. But there is right. some tension. Um, but he's just going to special out the Water Enchantress. Normal token Normal collector. Token collector. Um, so it's going to be Verte, it looks like. We're going to see Verte and Anaconda. But he's got the Token Collector in the grave, so it's actually a pretty good play here. I like this, right? Because now I mean, this is going to be tough for Swordsville to do. Right, DPE, a Negate, token. and Token Collector. Now we're seeing a lot more Token Collector these days. He's going to send Branded Ooh, Fusion. A Mirror Jade instead. Gonna go Mirror Jade. So he's gonna go send Anaconda, send Fallen, summon Mirror Jade. Um, this card is a total house. Um, and he's got Tome Collector Mirror Jade, which is pretty strong. Pretty strong. And the Griffin Negate. And a Griffin Negate. And a Griffin Negate. You're right. So, I mean, so, this is not even really. I mean, Token a Collector opening. alone puts in a lot of work. Like but the Negate will yeah. help, like, a Vashuda bounce or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna go Emergence. Um, yeah, this is looking really, really good for Jim here. The only thing I could see maybe happening is, for example, he's going to go Long Yun, summon the token. If he summons that token collector, he's playing kind of into droplets. So maybe that's what you play around in this scenario is droplets, perhaps. Um, okay, so we're going to think here for a second, probably. Long Yun. Guard. And, okay, so, I mean, that's the question is, do you Token Collector right away? Like, for example, you could just go Griffin Rider now and try to play around Droplet. Um, but then, obviously, you don't have protection against Bishida, But then you're also negating, I mean, he discarded Mo Yi off his, mm. um, off his long end. What did he add off Emergent? Yeah, so he's going to play around Droplets here. He's going to take that option, play around Droplets. Um. Yeah, yeah adventure. Um, referencing the chat, adventure is is absolutely everywhere. It does get a bit redundant, <laughs> but can't really do anything about it until it's not as powerful of an engine, if that's possible. And I don't know if they'll take that big of action yet. He did negate it, and then Taya come out. Yeah, I, I might have banished the Taya here with the Mirror Jade. I, I don't... Because the problem is now you're letting... Can't, can't this Adhara probably add back? You know, i just saying, like, you know, I guess I, I guess it doesn't matter. If you banish the Taya, can, but I, I don't really think you care if he adds back Taya. There's no way that you're going to get... Right. Okay, so he's got Old the bell. Spell, the collector. Okay, so this was the, the punishment for playing around Droplets, right? The punishment for playing around Droplets is this scenario. You play I mean, into Hulk. <laughs> could still go Mirror Jade Banish Taya. Um, we know what he added off the so emergence. It's probably one of these. Yeah, he could still go Mirror Jade Banish Taya 
Uh, and then he's a little bit stuck. He's got the sword still token. Um, and he can't. He's he could go help a Fibrax at that point. No, he can't because the token is 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 uh, stopping him from linking. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's a whole nother story. Um, yeah, that card is good. That'll be pretty good. Yeah, that one is good. So that's like the token is stuck there, which is pretty broken. So he has to synchro summon. Yeah. Okay. But he can't. <laughs> so that is a, a pretty good one. Um. Yeah, D Barrier is really strong against uh, the meta right now. I mean, it's really good against Sword Soul because, like you said, they they put the token out. They can only synchro, and then if you call synchro, they can't do anything. So, um, right. Yeah. So yeah, twenty two out of forty. Out of 40. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, I guess you see the Sword Soul decks usually don't play adventure because they need Moji and Kaya. Um, else to play adventure. Despia Some usually. Despia does. I think I think they're probably like a 75-25 split usually with Despia. Some don't do it, but a lot of them do. Um as far as top cut though, Prank Kids, PK, Eldritch. Or no, Eldritch was Cyber, so they was he playing the adventure too? Yes, 50 he was. Cards. Was we saw in top four or top eight that both players were playing. Right, okay, so he was on it. We're right here, game three. I mean, so far we've seen just, you know, I mean, okay, so we've seen how effective Dimensional Barrier is. How are, now Kareem gets to it first, and if he has Dimensional Barrier in his deck, that is also very good against the Despia deck. You know, okay, Brandon Red, all right, Chain D Barrier. Okay, let's just go to the next game. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> all right, you win. So Going into a game three, that's really good to go to next game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't go to the next game. There, there is no next game. Um, next so, game's next round. <laughs> next round, yeah. Next round. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be interested to see how Kareem decides to go and and play this out because is he gonna go for a similar thing to game one where he just you know takes it easy and 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 ends on a lot of hand traps? Um, I guess the answer is probably not because we're seeing a Shathana off the bat vessel for the dragon cycle. That's a good one to have if you um are are opening a 10 e so he's gonna send ashuna add the uh what's this one called again adhara um yep. so we're gonna see probably a halk a yeah yeah probably a halk so on the bright side even with hand traps he hasn't normal summoned yet either that's right that's right so this is really strong he's gonna go for the deskbot combo i'm thinking, the thing about Hulk is it sort of is, is just a synchro summon without you know it's like a baron without using your normal um right and the thing is the bricks are not even that bad like the deskbot's not even that bad of a brick no reason to play it um like, you know, he could just go Baron and then try to continue along his plays, or you can go Yazi. There's so many options here. Um, it's crazy how flexible Mecha Fate and Beast Aurora Dawn is. Um, right, and even if he didn't open Sword Soul, like, getting two, like, Yazi can get him to the Sword Soul plays anyway. Uh -huh. Now, we might see a Nibiru here. Um, this could be also a bluff. Uh, okay. Yeah, you, nope, what you can do is, is you can just say like think, and then they just they have to go Baron. But this is right. still okay for Kareem because he still has Ashina and Adhara. So I think we could see a Chi Shao regardless, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna have to see here. He's gonna summon this in defense. Uh, I mean, I, I I see. I think nibbing there is okay. Like, you kind of it, it's kind of forces the nib. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Normal. Sum There's the normal summon. That's a good one to normal summon. Um. So we're gonna see. Yep, we're gonna Ashina here. Now he doesn't have to be scared of nib anymore. So that's really really nice. Mm -hmm. Ashina summon Adhara. This is gonna add back to Ashina. Now. What I don't understand is why not do this before the Taya? This. Because uh, now he's going to have trouble summoning the Ashina from his hand, but maybe he's fine with it. 
The Taya 2, Boxio 1, I'm sure he's better at Sword Souls than I am. So, okay. <laughs> Sending the Moyi. Um, and this one is going to special back out the Moyi. Okay, I see. So he's going to special back out the Moyi. This is how it's... Oh, I see, I see. No, no, no. Boxia is... Right. So Moyi will reveal Ashina. Uh -huh. Get the token. Here comes the Chi Xiao. Now, he is, is the... Wormlocked. But sorry, go ahead, John. Um, I was going to say, Sword Soul got their new Synchro guy, too. Is that a 9 that he can go with the Boxia and Adhara? No, I think that's a 10. That's, that's also a okay. 10. Yeah, so he's going to just okay. go for the Black. That is, that, that is a good one. That one's really good against the Brave Engine. This might be, yeah, just a Chao Fang. Chao Fang line. So this Chao Fang is made with just lights. A light. Right? Yeah, it's just lights. I mean, it's made with an Earth, but Which it's against... only light that matters. I mean, you force the Lubellion route instead of... Um... Albion, Albion being the or no, Lubellion's the light, so you take right. away that route. Right. I think they have to go Albion. All the relevant ones are probably like other and dark, so this probably is okay. But again, he's got the negate and the pops, and, and, and Chao Feng is really for the follow up because what you could do is you could use your your um Sorcerer Blackout to pop it, and then Chao Feng will search for it. usually a hand trap in this case. Um, so. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the, um, that's the thing. So I can't use lights. Yep. That's not the worst thing I would think. Yeah, it does stop Lubellion, Um, but. Yeah, for the most part, his deck should be dark or like off attribute. Yeah, it's, like, it's not the worst for him. It's not like, you know, playing some light archetype. Um. Yeah, like when I'm playing Cyber Dragon and I get a Chao Fang dropped on me. That kind of hurts. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. That's rough. No, because, yeah, if you're playing, you know, yeah, it, that, that is rough. That is rough. Um, okay, so standby phase. What are we going to see here? Droplets? No. Go into main one. Um, I mean, you know, why not start off? Start us off with the right. Right? Start us off with the right of Aramashur. Let's see it. Get even spicier, Lava Golem. Mm. I've actually been siding it and really liking it. Mm. Yeah, if your deck that doesn't need your normal summon, it's really good. Okay, so there you go. Brand opening, Pitch Tragedy. That is a card effect to discard, so that is going to um, work here. I, I guess it doesn't even have to be a cost. It just has to be discarded. So Tragedy is going to trigger. It's going to be what? Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2? A Luber, which one does he want to resolve more? He wants Tragedy to resolve more. They're both resolving. Yeah, regardless. I mean, you might as well protect the Tragedy, because Cheeks Out can just get around it no matter what anyway. Yeah, yeah. True. So you're stopping, like, an Ash on Tragedy? Yeah, although I think, you, yeah, yeah, that, that does make sense. Well, you're probably saving Ash for Branded Fusion. For the, right. Um, yeah, there's still that choke point that they can wait on. Yeah, okay, so we're going to see... Are going to what here? And he does have the Brandon in red. You could activate that. That's a possibility. Um, and there's the ad lib. Yep. Yeah. So how is he going to do this? The thing is, Imperm is pretty good at going first against these decks because of just the the pure fact that um you know like the, the all the fusions just activate right. So Imperm. Um, hmm, it's gonna be a tough one for Jim to, to find his way out of, especially if he doesn't have the adventurer package here. That's gonna make it harder. There comes Brain of Fusion. Here we go. Does does Karim have the Ash? Um, I think Dueling Book is lagging. Does reconnect? Oh, sorry. I, let me yeah, let me so. let me lean in closer to my microphone. Thing. No, Luke. Um, so we got a little bit of lag on DB, the DB classic. Um, he does ash the fusion then. Does ash the fusion? Okay. Fusion. Has yeah, I'm not a big fan of ash. getting the Aluber anyway. Cause it just, I don't know. Feels like 
versus Invoked when you Ash the Meltdown on Alistair anyway? Yeah, I mean, he, I, think, I think from Kareem's perspective, he's really only scared of Branded Fusion because it's going to make a thing that he has to negate and then yeah, tr Branded Red is the cards second that, follow up, yeah. right? Right. He's, he's just going to stop guarding Chimera. Plan. Well, and now, you know, there's no, no uh, Verte tricks here. So, yeah. Looking really, really good for, for Kareem here. We might see him in the finals. But I don't want to speak too soon because Jim is going to go branded and red. He's going to target tragedy. Makes sense. It's interesting that DD Crow on on this is pretty crack. Actually, I just realized DD Crow on this just stops the car completely. Right? Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. That is. I didn't even know that. Okay. So DD Crow is pretty good against Brandon and Red. Um. Okay. Tragedy added. Ad libitum. Oh, he was lagging at that point, just trying to figure it out, but... Okay, I see. So here comes Brandon in red. I mean... Does he have a bell or something for this? Is that what he's thinking about here? Because he already uses a uh, and Ash can't stop. Uh, I mean, I feel Cheeks out just in general is pretty good against Despia, because a lot of their, like, chain blocking their fusions to protect them so that their effects go off, but dodging that seems to be pretty effective yeah yeah okay so what are we gonna see here we're gonna see a fusion stuff it doesn't have a fusion stuff reading the card we just add it back um yep. yeah then you can apply and just or two two for espion quartus i don't know what this one during your main phase quick effect you can change the type of all monsters on the field to zero except level eight. Owners control these if you'll be using a bonus card effect. You can add or special summon. Okay, so he is just going to negate the Chi I'll probably try to run it over. Um, now, if Kareem negates this, Jim could go for a further follow up place. If he just lets it resolve, he, he like, almost guarantees that he lives by, by uh, Despian Quartus having to go to battle phase to get rid of the Chi Okay, so that's what we're going to see. So Kareem sort of. Playing it safer on this on this side, he's gonna force um, the attack here. Now I guess what you just take this chi out if you wanted to. No, he's not even gonna bother. Just gonna let it die, um, and that makes that makes sense. But he's he's guaranteed to live here, and he just has to pass on that. So yeah, I think that was a smart play by Kareem. Just okay, I'm guaranteeing I'm gonna be alive, right? You use your battle phase and. Um, it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to see Emergence, Chain Ash. Um, one, just he just needs one tiny follow-up. One tiny follow-up. The Ash stops the first follow-up. The, the pennies are turned off here, though, because he can't really get rid of this Chao Fang. Oh, but he has the Ecclesia. Um, and that'll be enough to start a play. That will be enough to start a play. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that is pretty good here. So, um, and the Ash has already been used. That, that's not going to stop it. We um, don't know either in hand, I believe, because he used the red and the ad ad lib. I think one of them. Oh, is... he's got tragedy still. He oh, added tragedy. Back. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I think one of the cards in Kareem's hand is Ashuna. Um, all added back. Yeah, off the Adhara turn one. We got Taya Taya loops here. Okay, so yeah, this is nice. Yeah, Boxia shuffle. Boxia is crazy. Um, just shuffling back everything. Yeah, just um, chain to reduce the attacks yeah. then. Chain to reduce the attacks, makes sense. So he's living this turn pretty pretty easily, I think. Oh, actually, maybe not. Uh, it's hard to say. How did the fusion and resolve? Wasn't he under Chao Fang? He has nothing, though. Oh, you're right. He, can't, he couldn't summon Quartus. That's actually a good point, um, I think technically speaking. That's a good catch. Uh, I don't think it mattered though. <laughs> um, but you're right. He was he was locked into darks only. Oh, yep, yep. So yeah, shouldn't have 
been able to run over the cheeks out even. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't even run over the cheeks out. But I mean, um, I don't think it mattered. Obviously, it didn't. So it looks like Kareem wins. Uh, he's going to be going to the finals now. Should we take a look here? We got a couple minutes left in the round here. Should we take a look at the other top four matches? Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, go back and see how Matrix is faring. Yeah, let's see how how Matrix is faring. Ooh. Matrix, I will go. Let's go spectate that match here. Three and based. Okay, so we're seeing the Kurt Cobain on his patented Phantom Knights here. We're 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 in the middle of a game here. I don't know. This is game three. Looks like. We've got a Baron, which I don't know if it's used as effect already. We've got DDR targeting, I guess, the boots. There's no really no other option. The Veiler might have just been used on the Gloomy, the Dark Charmer. Um, so maybe that's where we're at, where all the negates are off the table. Um, that would make a lot of sense here. Snow and Graveyard for Matrix. Oh, he does have a Snow. That's huge. That's a good one. That's a good one. And enough material to banish around EPE bricks. Um, so that's feeling good. Um, here comes the snow. One, two. So he can book this boots. This boots is going to kill itself. Um, but then it's just going to resummon itself, if I'm not mistaken. The book the boots, DR is going to kill it. That, I, I think that D, that boots should be dead, if I'm not mistaken. Now, these are is it rules. still considered that monster? It is, because that, that refers that? Okay. to the monster that was summoned by this card. I think I don't think booking it changes that. I believe that the... The boots should be destroyed, but I am not the judge. I, I don't know if Swarm Host knows um, the rule. I was going to say, is he allowed to interfere? Is he allowed to jump in? Oh, I mean, if you're a judge, I, I mean, I don't know who the official judge is. Of the no, game. either? Or is it kind of there in case they need him? Oh, no, I, I think as a judge, you usually try to stop, you know, try to make sure the game shit is accurate. Um but I, I mean, it, it does matter, right? Because he's got a fog blade in his grave. So if he needs the material, then that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm just worried, scales, yeah. Because I mean, just, just no discard. Yeah, when that's just the text on the card. So would it have almost been better if it did get destroyed? That's what at I'm this saying. I think, I think it is better because not only does he get he could search or he could special it back with fog blade. That's what I'm saying. I, I think it is better. Um, Cobain here. Yeah. Storm host. I mean, that's what I'm wondering, you know, is, should that. Oh, chat saying destroy. it wouldn't destroy. Well, why not? Is there a reason? I just don't know if it's one of those cases where it forgets that it's still that card once it gets booked. That card though means like it's I, I don't know I, I if I was ruling it I would I would have guessed it would have been destroyed I'll look it up later but anyway let's focus on the game for now yeah so he's yeah banish the code. fog blade yeah, and gonna then we're gonna get the get the, the torn, torn scales scale. back but this is what I'm saying is like he misses like a bunch of free material here cause just, for... anyway um like for example the boots could be could be discard for the torn scales if that matters. Um, right. Well, then you could go into like a break sword oh, play. The Baron, yeah, the Baron was still negated. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think this 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 Baron negate doesn't make. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that was a slight misplay by Matrix because he went Fog Blade target Torrent Scales. Um, and then he went Baron negate. And said, okay, I'll just activate Torrent Scales effect anyway. Um. Right. So we're going to see, it looks like, I mean, it feels like Matrix has Nibiru in his hand. Yeah, the, the way he's playing. It makes it seem like he has Nibiru. Um, yeah. That's going to be really good for Matrix then. 
because he's got the the draw to the dasher. Yeah, and I don't know. The sure DP might DP be live. Back. DP might be live. Um, the snow is once again in grave. Hey, Cal, how's it going? Uh, yeah, so I think does is is DPE alive, and is he going to go dasher? Up there? Good question. Um, no dasher, but no dasher. DP is live. Okay, so that's a really huge. Um, DP is live. We're gonna probably. This yeah. is probably the end of the game. Then. Um, yeah, I don't see any way PK because he's got nothing in graveyard. Yeah, this is all. probably a GG then. Um, I mean, he'll have a boots. That's that's about it. If he yeah. survives the turn. It's still got the fateful, so fateful is just gonna add right. I mean, I just don't see how you survive. Yeah, this is just another two thousand beater here. Um, yeah, this is this is looking yeah, bad. DP to pop the token to out it, even though it's big. You know, boots set, and so it's draw a card plus banish boots for his combo if he survives the turn even and that's through a dpe he's gonna get that so yeah no and he's also got snow i think yeah i think this one's kind of probably yeah pops this one right he might run too fateful he does yeah so he just gets another fateful adventure makes sense makes sense um it's not quite Lethal, I only see 75. Um, yeah, you got to set that first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Might have been a little bit of a lag there or something. Um, but you do have to set that first. Um, yeah, this one is probably... Eh, it's not looking good. One monster, one link material, and it's... Pretty much over, but still far, Kurt is not dead. Not like dead officially, because no, he's not lethal. Um, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. No, he's not lethal. Oh, but here comes the red rose, and I think that's gonna be, that's that should yeah, because now we'll just get into uh, dark, oh, no. dark. Okay, so he's gonna get access to Walker. Yep, looks like yeah, that's GG. Looks like that's GG. Well, so we have what? Based and Sword Soul now going into the finals? Yep, yep, yep. So it's, it's like Despia didn't even exist. <laughs> it just, yep. all right. There's... Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I wonder how much is just people being ready for it? And I guess the Sword Soul almost looked like it. Sword Soul has a pretty good matchup versus it, which would make sense how I had talked about like the top eight breakdowns where Sword Soul is just kind of right there near the top two and if they have a good matchup versus the best deck that usually helps mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well this is very popular sword soul very very good against it it seems um okay well we are going to take a quick break the finals are going to be right around the corner so don't go anywhere um yeah next round i'm sure starting very soon we're going to see it between i think it was matrix and kareem so um yep. i hope i'm saying that i could be karim but um yeah i guess we will see you all in just a quick second.
Okay, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, guys, gals, non-binary pals, we are all here for the finals of the Dragon Rider Champion. I'm going to make sure I have title edited here. It says top four. We're here, Faithful Adventure. We got Matrix on the base deck, I, and we got Kareem on the sword. So Matrix has won the rolling of the dice. And is going to go Fateful, um, pitch the Chantress, get the token. And we are going Griffin Rider Special Summon. So, okay. That is the This start. time, we'll see the... Yeah, this is the combo. Sorry, yeah. The combo right here. right here. Summon Baron. Use the Rose Dragon. And we are off to the races. That weird round we saw in top eight where they... Had to go token into a help combo and be unprotected. This is more how they would prefer the play line to go. This is gonna shooting riser. Now the question is, does Matrix main deck um, token collector? Because if he does, this is gonna be he can say, yeah. Oh my, he yep. does. Okay, that's okay, a strong game. That's one. that's a strong one. That's a strong one, folks. So yeah, this is gonna go boom, boom, and what? So this level what? Three now. So there's gonna be is it is it a six? No, it's a Hulk. Right, Just a Hulk nerds. play. Both two nerds. Oh, Verde. Verde. Oh, right. So that actually makes sense too. That makes sense. The so deep Baron, says DP, DP Baron. Yep. Um, you know. Token collector. Token collector. Yeah, this this is the kind of scenario where like if I'm playing Super Bowl, I want to run Guilty Gearfried, the uh the right. magical knight guy. <laughs> Give him a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of trickery going on there. Um, but okay, so token collector in the gate and a pop. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind maining token collector. It's sometimes good, even if you just draw it, right? So like, like definitely, it's right. not bad. He's got prosperity. That's pretty strong for three or for six here. I'm wondering how Matrix is feeling here. Six is a. Is he going more? Six might be a little. Oh, yep, he's going. going he's going. Six. I'm wondering what he's looking for. I mean, because, you know, what does he like? Does he not need anything in the extra deck? Just uh, the cherry on the top. Okay, Spanish six. So he's going to get a hand grab. trap here. Yep. It's probably Ash, Failure, or Ogre. I mean, maybe you could see a. You go Ash? Ash? Yeah, this stops Vishuda coming out of Ashina. Um. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I like Matrix's play here. This, cause you're, you're really like main deck. It's either Droplets or Vishuda that's getting rid of the um, token collector, and so Ash sort of helps one of those things there. Whereas Valor uh, doesn't do as much, and you're not really worried about the sorts on normal summons because of the token right. collector. So, um, and even like double hand trapping would be tough because like, if you try to like. Bell and well, it'd be his turn, so he can't Valor anyway. But like DPE can have the floor and like dodge an imperm if they tried to get really creative. Mm, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think we'd hit that point, but thinking like 10 steps ahead, mm -hmm. yeah, droplet and it's probably the best out. Yeah, droplet is the best out. The problem is, you know, you. You're gonna get DP'd first, then Baron. So then the Droplet is gonna have to discard another card, right? If you want to play around Droplets a little better. Um, I don't know if the Sword Soul deck is maining Droplets though in the card version. Um, but oh, this is Chathana is not bad actually. Um, oh no, never mind. It's actually not not that good. I lied. I lied. I thought it, yeah, Chathana has to be able to special summon back to destroy monsters. Be able to do the pop, so that's actually not that good. Um, all right, so he's just so going he's to gonna... DP pop it right away. Interesting, I find that that one fascinating. I guess, I mean, it makes no sense to pop the um, the link one because then the Shadana will trigger. So, I guess just get, get it out of the way. Ooh, no that'll one. be. So he's going for the handoff talents, though. So oh, he I can see. play through the Baron. Going through the hand. Get rid of... Getting rid of Ash, maybe? Or force the Baron. 
force the baron. I thought he would force the baron here. Sorry, I guess my my screen was a little bit lagging too. Um, yeah, if, if you take the baron though, you you force it because otherwise you can just negate the token collector. Yeah. So he looked at the hand though. He wants to dance. So maybe he's okay. I mean, it's Ash plus whatever. Um, oh no, he's negating regardless. Change offense. Yeah, this plays into droplets though. This is what I was worried about here. But okay, but no, the droplets comes out, and he still has token collector in grave. So I'm a little like, I mean, does Kyrian have a, a bell? He might have a bell. We know he mains bell here, so he's gonna get to see the hand. Right. Wow, that's really. Or are we gonna see another called by the grave? <laughs> I'm gonna see another call by. <laughs> no, because I mean, he takes the ash if he needs to. I mean, this is really well played. I just. Yeah, I mean... Can you play through Ash and Token well, Collector? Or Ash stop is be taken. them, I should say. Yeah, whatever, whatever he wants, it's going to be taken. Yeah, so Ash is going to be taken. So now it's time... Does he have a bell for the Token Collector? Because that will do it. I don't know. I, we can't see what else is in the Matrix hand. So we don't actually know. Right. But I think... If Kareem... If he has a... Especially like a Taya, because he has the Worm and Grave... Does have the warm and great, probably, yeah. probably be the best normal summon at this point. Yeah, I mean, so it's just the question is, does it is it like something Ooh. like Taya Bell? Oh, okay, so special out. Special at Hara. At Hara, special summon Ecclesia. Ecclesia is going to act with the effect. Um, I guess if he might know that this is going to resolve just based on that. So here comes Taya. Um, oh, I see. So he's going to go this close, though. Here comes Token... The token's going to be collected. Is the, the question, yeah, is the last card Bell or GD Crow? Um, I almost feel like it almost has to be, doesn't it? Right, with the way, he's, with the way that Kareem is The playing. way he's playing. Yeah. But it's not. Now he has hand guaranteed. knowledge. No, sometimes you just can't do anything other than go for it. Right, 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 exactly. So, I mean, cause I guess, okay, let's say, go, let's say that he doesn't have the Bell. The token gets summoned. Matrix is thinking, so he might have a hand trap for this. Um, but the token gets summoned. Token collector comes out, pops it, goes out into desk bot. I just don't see how that quite works. Um, Could he go like that? Summoned. So I'm not seeing that line. Um, Matrix is still thinking. Like, does he have a veil? So I guess what? Kareem knows that he has a Veiler in his hand. I can't see why you would Veiler this. Not too big. <laughs> I like that. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, yeah. Imagine if you're at a regionals and it's like, uh, you know, uh, activate effect, like a uh, big think. It's like, I, I don't, you know, I don't think you can just say big think to just be like, yo. Okay, so he's going to Veiler this. He's making the read that the last card is Bell. But this doesn't play around Bell anyway, right? Because it's going to be... If he has... If he yeah, has you Bell, can go the... Alk, right? The Hulk. You'd still force the token collector at some point. Right, so I don't know... I mean, it doesn't... The question is, does he have Bell? I think... If he does, then you'd rather just have the Veiler for... Like, Aurora Donner Hulk. Right, a tough one. This is a close one, uh, yeah. So, I mean, unless it's called by the grave, it plays sort of around called by the grave. Because if you call by the grave, either one of them, it doesn't matter which one, they're getting negated. No, but yeah, I mean, no, you still call by the grave the token collector, and then you can make Hulk, yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite seeing. I feel like Valor there was not the best. Oh, oh, oh we're having oh, lagging no, issues. Lag. Um, but yeah, this one might be rough. I just either has the way to deal with Tongue Collector or he doesn't. Yeah, DB is. Not known for its, um, its, <laughs> its pristine connection at all times, that's for sure. 
Yeah, it's been issues. Like, I saw a lot in the Discord, too, yesterday. They had all kinds of issues with it. Yeah, but it's the, hey, it's the best we got. So, I mean, we appreciate right. the folks at DB for me. Um, I guess you could say if you're not donating to DB, you can't complain. So, uh, fair enough. <laughs> fair, yep. Yeah, if you're not helping, you can't complain. Yeah. Um, you know what? I probably should donate to Dueling Book. I'll be honest. I use this site so much. Um, I probably should donate. So, <laughs> I, maybe I'll yeah. Now we'll just see the death spot of Roar on. Yeah, but stuff, then here comes his see the... So yeah, either he has the out to it or he doesn't. Right. Um, or Kareem is just praying that. Um. Oh yeah, this, it, this, so, saying, this doesn't even play around. Yeah. Call by the grave, right? So like, okay, is there really a reason to veil the Taya? I guess. I mean. Just... I don't know though. It's t I mean, this was quite the play by Kareem. He really yeah, Taya, Taya resolving droplets. still kind of goes the same play route, wouldn't it? True. It's it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. I will. And, and now I, I guess Matrix doesn't know that he's on the, on the whole. Yeah, this is okay. This is looking good. Okay, so the question is, wasn't it? A, he looked at hand. I can't. I can't think that that allowing the gating with Baron was the right play there. I just don't really I mean I don't, don't yeah, I just don't really see that one. Yeah, it was interesting, but this is probably going to be game. Yeah, it's probably the game. I mean, it's pretty well played by 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 Kareem here. I mean, yep. Um, uh, this is gonna be an interesting play. I think that that play is gonna be thought about. Um, just because I'm trying to like, okay, the the, the Baron negate, you know, droplets is what you lose to. Uh, right. It's so hard to say because okay, I don't know though. Least, yeah. Yeah. I, he just, forced the droplet before token collector. I guess it's a plus side, but. Right, but the last card did matter. Like you saw, every single card mattered in that game. Right. And he got the free send off droplets. What I was really like. Get to resolve his his tactics and he got the free send off droplets so that's what i'm really sort of you know worried about i guess which is um yeah he had the uh he had the that play line there interesting well you know i think regardless of what plays you make you've gotta if it wasn't misplayed if it wasn't you've just sort of gotta you know think about it and be like okay right uh, next game yeah next game so wow, I mean, I, I was pretty impressed that that Kareem played through that board. I mean, that was DPE, Baylor, Ash, Floor, Floor, Token Collector, Token Collector. I mean, literally <laughs> five just, cards for five cards. That's crazy. Yeah, he had a he had the talents. He had the call by. He had everything. the droplet. <laughs> the droplets, like yep, yep, yep. was insane. Is it safe to call Called by the Grave the MVP of top eight so far? <laughs> it really might be as as odd as that is to say about a one of. Just seeing it swing the ties of well four games for sure now. We do have the adventure stuff starting out the play for Matrix again. Yeah, okay, now we get a good point. I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat here. Determine says, if you didn't attempt to negate the talents, you lose the Baron to a chain droplet anyway. I guess that makes some sense. That does make some sense. I think you're right, that doesn't really... But if he doesn't have droplets, isn't it still better just to keep the Baron anyway? I don't know. Okay, let's focus on the next game. Wow, okay, so Matrix <laughs> starting off with the same, same, same thing. Same two cards, yep. Brave Package, Red Rose. Yeah, Brave Package, Red Rose. Opens Token Collector this time. So we don't need a Shooting Riser to dump it, or you can go and dump something else, like a Snow even. Listen, there's no way they can have the one of. That's true. I mean, I think in that case, either... Okay, so it's going to change Ash. Ash for the Rose. Yeah, he's, he's pressuring here. He says, okay, I dare you to negate this. That's what he's saying, you know? Um, yeah, he could have played, um, he could have had the bell as well, because I think we know Karim's on bell, so he had a couple of outs. 
he is not going to use the Baron Negate on the end. He's going to let the Baron Negate the Red Rose. Um, we're going to see... Uh, okay, we're going to see DP. It's going to be play, DP Baron so. again with Token Collector, basically. Um, you know, I, I think this makes sense. <laughs> like, just, just go fix it if it's not broken. Right. You're just going to hope that, you know, you, if, he, if they've got all the cards, they've got all the cards... Um, can't have called by the grave again, right? There's no way, right? You know, <laughs> that's how probably you draw it once, you can't draw it again. It's less likely, right, to draw it again. So, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so here we go. We've got DPE. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, see what yeah, happens. So. Blackter Fleur DPE, and it's not unrealistic to expect like a imperm droplet other hand trap with how many they play. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I like I like not negating the ash here. I mean, it makes sense to me. Again, you're only really losing to droplets. Lightning Storm. It's going to be the back row. So good defense position by uh by Matrix here. Um, that sort of blanks the Lightning Storm. Right. Makes it not. Im I mean, it wasn't impactful. It didn't hit anything important. Mm -hmm. I mean, follow up. It hits follow up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. You're letting you're letting the monk resolve. You you know you're not really feeling pressured by this Adhara. So I don't think there's any any need to go crazy yet with your negates. Right. Not like it was a special Vishuda go monk or. Okay. So emergence. Fine. Yeah, okay, so not as good of a hand from Kareem the second time, so Matrix is going to take this one down. But Kareem does, he did navigate his way through game one, so he does get to go first game three. Now, yeah, I mean, you can't break that board two, two games in a row, though, right? <laughs> like, it literally took every single card in your hand, like the perfect <laughs> cards to break it, so... Yeah, I could do a video about, uh, you know, the odds of drawing... Um, <laughs> a little, a quick little video about that, maybe. You got to factor in heart of the cards and probability that way too. You can't just do the math behind you it. You can't just do the math. I see. I see. You got to factor <laughs> in the heart of the cards. Uh, yep. So, like me, I I can open Dark Magician or Red Eyes if I'm playing the Dragoon package. I'll open one of my bricks nine out of ten games every time because of the heart of the cards. <laughs> I think I think all you push up say I draw bricks more than everyone else does. I think everyone says it's not true. All right, it's not true. No, everyone draws their bricks the same amount. I I, yeah. I just I find it so funny when it's like I always draw my bricks. No, you don't. Okay, you remember when you, you draw your bricks you draw more when you don't. So starting with emergence for Mo Yi. That's always good. That's always good. Um. Well, if he concedes without drawing call by game two, the probability goes up. See, that's just mathematically true. That's just mathematically true. Okay, so he's got the Baron. Now, now, what does he go for? What's Synchro? This is the million-dollar question here. Um, is it going to be... Have... Okay, he's going to be Chi Xiao. I guess that makes sense. I don't know why. Sorry, I was thinking he was going to go for a level 10. Chi Xiao makes sense. Yeah. You get to draw. I say, yeah, right. Which is, is he going to... Oh, so he, ban Double he negates Valor. that. Double Valor. So that's pretty good, honestly, because, I mean... This probably stops his plays, unless he has. That'll end his turn. Yeah, that's end his turn. And based is a bunch of engines, so he's probably got something. 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 Double Valor. That's a good start. Um... Uh, we got some chats here. Can't wait for second ghost from the past. That that yeah, the Heasel is coming out. I don't know if you've seen. Ego Talker Heat Soul. That card is pretty interesting. It's just, just draw a card every turn uh, for a thousand right. life points on your opponent's turn as well, which is pretty funny. Um, okay, the Matrix. He's I'm just excited. What was that? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said, I'm just super excited for the Ghost Rare Cyber Dragon. I think it's going to look amazing. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look sick. I mean, I wonder how much that one's going to. Are you, you going to try to pick him up? I'm going to try to. We'll see. <laughs> Next, hey, those those look nice. Those look nice. I got my Dark Magician for my collection, so I still have one of every art. But wow, wow, okay, 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 big baller, big baller here. All yeah. right, all right, all right. I actually pulled it out of my display, so. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so Matrix will have to navigate one 
Cheeks out on the gate still. Yeah, so he still has to do that. And it, I he's in 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 and Kareem's for sure got hand traps in his hand. Cool. I mean it's very likely. Possible it he does doesn't. open open the right opens though, the right. so that'll help. That that is gonna help. That is going to help. That's going to just depending what he has. Literally get yeah, rid you of could, the Chi Yeah, you bounce it and not worry about it anymore. Okay, Griffin Rider. So at least at least this Chi will be able to trade with the right. Griffin Rider. He'll be able to negate the Griffin Rider. Unfortunately, Matrix was well, not able he's to. He's just gonna. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. Yeah. I was just he's... trying to think if there's a play because then he can. He didn't search the monster, so he can search out the Griffin back. Does a summon once per turn? Summon is, I think, once per turn. Yeah. Because the thing is, if he was able to get the equip spell. <coughs> I'm a little confused here because, yeah, when you it's when you normal you can add an equip spell. Right? So he couldn't he couldn't add the equip spell without getting the Griffin out first. Yeah. So this I mean chain this target the Griffin makes sense. So yeah, I think he, he unfortunately Matrix couldn't get the equip spell out before the Chi Shao, um, able to negate. Right. The Griffin. But he he couldn't get the Griffin out after the equip. Here comes Fool. Foolish sending. Well, ooh, okay, he's thinking. Well, ashing the Ash is this foolish. one. Uh, it's not, let's see, what could he have sent there? It could be a token collector. That's a good one to send. Um, you know, in the grind game. So, for sure. Um, what else What else do they usually send off Foolish in this deck? Oh, Enchantress, but I already used the Enchantress. So it's probably going to be a collector. Yeah. The question is... Matrix has faced the decision. Dude. Is he going to go Verte here? That is where the money... This is where, this is where you know, the players are made. You know, what is the read? Is he going to go Verte? Because it depends on how... I mean, obviously, it depends on how good Matrix is hand here. But the fact that he's thinking this much is telling me that he does not have, like, a Rose Dragon. Right? Because, I mean, if you had a Rose Dragon, boom. Normal Rose Dragon, we're going to go about our day. This is where we're going right. to see the decisions being made. Is there going to be a Verte Anaconda? Or is he going to pass on this Griffin Rider negate? Um, that that's sort of the. And I don't know what I would do here. Um, especially because if you go Verde and he opened like another hand trap, which wouldn't be unheard of. Right. Exactly. And you're exactly. in a really bad spot. Really bad spot. Now the question is, okay, so let's see. If he's got a Sorcerer card in his hand, if it's Sorcerer hand trap next turn. I want to keep the Griffin Rider. I just don't see, you know, like, Taya, Mo Yi, you want to keep the Griffin Rider. Yeah, I can, at least you're case. guaranteed a disruption, then. Uh, it's so tough. I, I, I mean, because, okay, if it's Valor... Well, he's going for it. But... He's going for it. He's going for it. Wow, he's going for it. Okay. This is a close one. I mean, okay, so let's see. It's the let's finals, see. game three. You might as well, right? Yeah, might, might as well. <laughs> might as well. Why play it? It's only, it's only a couple hundred dollars, right? Yeah, Not too big I of think a deal. Luke, Luke had posted the breakdown in yeah, chat. Yeah, $80. First, 160 Yeah, there's still 80 off your 10 if you lose, so. Got it. So he did go Verte. No hand trap. So that's huge. That's huge. Now, if Matrix can survive one turn. He's gonna win. He's just got the right. follow up. Yeah, he's just got the follow up. So yep, here comes some damage in. I'm gonna use the yeah, okay. So go battle phase, use Phoenix and Fort again for twenty five. And um we're gonna have to see what Kareem's got on the top of his deck. Double Valor. Double Valor is slowed down the sword soul enough, but does he have a sword soul card? It's very likely that they're worm or sword soul cards because there wasn't another hand trap. Right? So right. it's just DP, and the question is, like, does Matrix have some more hand traps? And if so, which ones are they? It's unlikely to have another Veiler. Are is there you? any way a droplet could help here? I mean, maybe. It could help. Just you do know he's on talent. He is on talents, though, too. He's on talents, that's true. But he probably doesn't have talents because he would have used it turn one, so it has to be a top deck. Because he's just passing. Ooh, that's rough. So the DP is going to die. It's going to trigger. Does he have, like, a bell in this instance? Does not. 
He does not have a bell in this instance. That's that's not looking good because now this faithful is gonna get another Griffin Rider. Oh no, no, sorry, not another Griffin Rider. Another summon. another um another enchantress. Dasher summoning out right. the gamma. That's always a good play. This can be summoned by Dasher, it just has to be summoned by a card effect, not by its own card effect. So Fateful is going to send, yeah, that's GG. Karen puts out the GG's. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh death the Despot. <laughs> The black oh, he drew two one of's. That's rough. Vishuda. That's rough. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, black and Vishuda by no means are bad cards, but in that situation, they're bad cards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think it was just the the, the blackout and the the death spot uh, was yeah, that was pretty rough. I'm not sure which one he top decked, um, but yeah, that's, right. that's rough. Nothing bad with a with second place though. Six rounds of Swiss, top eight, second place. That's yeah. nine rounds. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Well, I mean, this was quite some interesting matches. Um, I thought everyone played pretty well, honestly. I was really impressed. Yeah, was it just top four where we had that one where we were kind of questioning? But other than that, we didn't really point out anything that we were like, was that the right play? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Two one ups, but not called by for once. Yeah, yeah. Well, definitely, yeah. The game three, they, it was a called by list game three. Um, yeah. Well, congratulations to Matrix. He has found himself $160 richer. Um, and yeah, I guess that didn't, it, got anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Check out Dragon Rider Games. Link should be in the description by now. Um, if you want to play one of these yourself, I think this was a hundred percent. Break event, meaning that Payout, there was right. no like there's usually there's a just, small cut, but no no cut yeah. on this one. This is something we just want to do for the community, like a thanks for everything they do. So we wanted to host an event where we're not taking anything off the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, so, very very cool. I mean, yeah, this is an awesome of, yeah. event. Really cool to see some interesting decks. The Sword Soul still a strong deck, still a very strong deck. Um, Right of Aaron Mashir being activated a lot. Uh, curious to see what's going to happen on the ban list there. <laughs> How do you even hit that engine? I said you almost have to hit both cards, but hitting both to two I don't think is enough. You almost yep. have to like limit one and semi the other at least. Yeah, it's probably not enough, but I feel like they might start with this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I said, my prediction, I said uh, limit Temple and that's it, and it's not going to do enough, and they'll have to hit it again the next time, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, we will have to see. We will have to see. But, uh, guys, that is it for the Cash Cup. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for, for coming by. Uh, there's going to be more of these events in the future. Uh, the VOD will be on the channel, so if you guys want to take a look, it'll be there. Um, thanks, John, for, for commentating. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, thanks to Luke. And, uh, yeah, I guess congratulations to Matrix. And... You know, we'll see you all around again for the next event. All right. Have a nice day.